similar, I would say, to coming out of the closet. Like, hear me out on this one, bro. You gotta sit your parents down. You gotta be like, hey, mom, dad, I started an OnlyFans. Dad stands up, no, son of mine's a whore. <laughs> your mom puts you off to the side and is like, we figured, like, it's, the signs were there. You have weird cameras in your bedroom. Strange people going in and out. Yeah, moms pick up on that thing. Speaking of my mother, uh, she don't have no um, but <laughs> she, uh, she went to her doctors and I found this hilarious. Her doctor was a colonoscopy doctor. My mom loves me telling about her colonoscopy, but her doctor was a doctor in St. Clairsville, you can Google this. Dr. Shatt was her colonoscopy doctor. Now I decided to Google him because I want my mother's butthole to be in good hands. So I Googled, so I Googled it. I Googled it. I Googled it. His first review, his first review was, he's kind of an asshole. Who else would you want peeking in there? an asshole named Dr. Schultz. Mm. Now, <laughs> but I can't, I can't afford to go to the doctor. I should see a therapist and shit for all this. But the last time I did, I realized that seeing a therapist is kind of like dating. You have to try them out. You have to see which one's right, which one's wrong. And I finally found one. And here's my key that he was the one when I did a voice call and this man looked me in the eyes and he said, so what's your goals? He did because we made eye contact. Don't ask questions. Jokes aren't supposed to make sense. <laughs> this man looked me in the eyes and he was like, hey, what's your goals? I'm like, my goal is I would love more than anything, to be able to be a comic. And he's like, don't you have to be funny for that? So traumatizing, so fucking traumatizing. But back on the OnlyFans thing, I would be afraid of some of the kinky people in there. Like, there's a lot of kinky people in the room. Hey, you come back here, I know you're filming. 